Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day because it's going to get even better. Today, we're actually going to be talking about the new heat-seeking missile that is coming to Fortnite Battle Royale this week. And also, I'm going to be announcing yesterday's giveaway winner of the Rogue Outfit giveaway. And also, I have two more giveaways in today's video. So please remember guys to stay tuned throughout it all as it does post some very important information. And also, if you do end up enjoying the video, please remember to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite guides, glitches, giveaways, all that kind of stuff. I want to be your guys' go-to guy for Fortnite everything. And uh, I know I'm late on this video, but I promise you, I am normally on time and ahead of schedule with all of the new leaks, new weapons, new everything. So make sure to subscribe, guys. Otherwise, you will be missing out. Uh, but anyway, like I said, first thing we're actually going to be talking about today is the new heat-seeking missile that is coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. How it's going to work, what rarity it is, and also, why did it replace some of the other weapons that were actually coming out? I don't know if you guys already knew, but there was other weapons that were actually planned to come out in Fortnite. And, I don't know, I feel like this heat-seeking missile has actually replaced them. But I really liked what the other ones look like. But anyway, let's get into this. So, the Tika Missile. Obviously, guys, you get some kind of little joystick and everything like that. We saw it from the trailer. It's probably in the background right now, to be fair. But you have a little joystick, and you can actually go and move it around and kind of navigate and everything. Personally, for me, I was thinking, well, how did the guy know exactly where to go through in the house? Like, how did he know exactly where he wanted to go? And then I kind of looked at the little joystick he was using, and it had some kind of little radar or screen on the little joystick itself. And I was thinking, wow, are they really going to, like, let us go into a first-person mode with the actual missile? Like, imagine, like, there was a GoPro attached to a missile, and you could control it like that. I'm thinking... That's how it's going to work, personally. I don't know, though. Like, but, yeah, to me, it seems that, yes, there is going to be some kind of first-person, like, kind of system where you can actually, like, kind of navigate exactly where you want it to go through. And, of course, there is going to be a distance on it. So, you know, you're not going to be able to, like, land at, let's say, for example, Lucky Landing and kill somebody with it over at the Metal Armor over at Junk Junction, you know. Obviously, there's going to be a limit to the, the, the kind of range that you can actually use this at. So, that's one factor to actually take in here. But yeah, I genuinely do think that it will be some kind of screen that you're looking through. And you get, like, this kind of camera where you can see where your missile's going, navigate through and everything like that, and then destroy your targets. Personally, for me, I think this is one of the better things that I've ever added to this game. I mean, I just cannot wait to see this. And I hope they keep it in the game for quite some time. I mean, at least let it replace the minigun or something, because I... <laughs> genuinely hate the minigun. I really, really hate it. Now, as for rarity, what rarity do you guys think it's going to be? Personally, for me, I think this is going to be the rarest of the rarest, guys. They, I mean, I think they should even add in a new rarity just for this weapon. It should be like the red rarity or something. Nah, but being all serious here, it is going to be maybe like a legendary rarity because it's just going to be a really OP kind of weapon. Obviously, it's going to drop in crates. It can be found in loot boxes or like chests I guess and uh, even loot llamas like imagine if a loot llama could actually have this thing like that would be absolutely insane I mean that would actually make it a little bit better right because you don't want like 15 people having one of these in your game so why not like let it only spawn in loot llamas because there's only three loot llamas per game and you know I can just imagine that this is going to change the way things are gonna happen on Fortnite Battle Royale. I mean, you are no longer safe in your base, guys. Like, honestly, make sure you have no windows, make sure it's all boarded up, and make sure you have, like, the tiniest little peak, because people are gonna be shooting at you, I'm telling you. So that's kind of my two cents on how I think it's gonna work and what rarity it is. Other than that, like, I guess, like, ammunition is going to be a big factor of this, because, I mean, I cannot really see it having more than three rockets that you can actually control, I mean, I don't know, maybe even there's only one, I mean, maybe it's, like, a one-time use only, because, obviously, from the trailer, we could see that the guy, presumably, had full health, he was sitting in his base, and the, 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 the bomb just pretty much blew him up in one hit, I mean, it was a direct hit, so maybe that's kind of why it killed him in one hit, if it hits the floor next to you, maybe it takes, like, a good, like, 
like, what, well, like, let's say, for example, 90% of your health or something, but if it is a direct hit, maybe it is a complete death, I don't know. These are the things that I really want to know about this, and I am definitely going to keep up to date on what actually, like, what the rarity is, how it's going to work, and if there is any actual in-game footage of this that gets released before the actual thing gets released itself, I will do a video on it, guys. You can count on me. I will be up to date with this weapon. It's insane. Um, but other than that, I was talking about a weapon that it has replaced, and this is the kind of laser, laser missile gun, and it's on screen right now, and as you can see, it's got this cool little look about it, you know, it says boom on the side, and what this weapon actually was, was it was a laser that you could point towards the floor, and like six rockets would come down from the skies, and destroy the target that you was actually targeting. Now... For me, I'm thinking, well, has this been removed from the game now? Like, have, have they just completely scrapped it? Because I really like the idea of having, like, a laser kind of airstrike weapon in the game. But, unfortunately, I don't know. They've decided to come out of the bag with, like, some random new weapon. That's insane. I mean, there was even talk of a nuke launcher and everything in this game. So, has it replaced the nuke launcher too? Who knows? I mean, it's very difficult to say because if we look at all of the weapons that Fortnite have planned for this game, they have around about 12 ready to put into the game. And I mean, that weapon, the, the new weapon, the missile, like kind of heat seeker missile, that wasn't even in the weapon list. So they must have a load of weapons planned for this game um, that we have not even seen yet, which is absolutely insane. So, I don't know, I really hope that it hasn't replaced that kind of heat-seeking laser missile kind of airstrike weapon. I really hope that they do still plan to get that in the game and release it and everything. But you know what? We never really know. Exactly, guys. Yeah, but other than that, let me know what you think in the comment section below about this weapon. Are you excited to get it in, like, get into the game and play with it? Or do you think that it genuinely will, like, kind of have some kind of bad effect on the game? Do you think that it might be a bit too overpowered? I don't know. Let me know your opinions in the comment section below, guys. Other than that, I do actually want to announce the winner of yesterday's Rogue Outfit giveaway, which is the Super Gamer. Yes, that is right, dude. You actually won the giveaway, so please make sure to check your uh, messages on YouTube. And uh, yeah, make sure that you reply to me as soon as possible in your private messages on YouTube to actually claim uh, whichever you have. You didn't leave whether you were on Xbox, PC or PS4. So, you know, just tell me which console you are or you, if you have PayPal and I will give you the money straight away. And uh, now for those of you who don't even know about what I'm doing here, um, I actually saved a little bit of money from last month's pay and I have enough money to actually get a couple of rogue outfits to give away before they are completely removed on the 1st of April. And uh, yeah, basically all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and uh, leave a like on this video, guys. Uh, but I've actually got two giveaways to do today. And the first one is right now in the comment section below. Like the video. My son is shouting. He is he, he is very he is very excited about that missile. Okay, so sorry about that. He's really excited today. He's just banging stuff around downstairs. But basically, all you have to do is like the video, leave a comment down in the comment section below saying pointy nipples. That is literally all you have to say, pointy nipples, and maybe even put Xbox, PS4, or PC, depending on what console you actually have. Now, for those of you who don't know, basically how I'm going to do this is that if you are a PC user, I will donate, well, I will give you the money through PayPal, so that you can actually use it to buy the, uh, the actual Rogue outfit. If you're on Xbox, I'll give you an Xbox Live card worth five pounds, and if you are in the uh, PS4, I will do the same, but, you know, for your PS4. And that's pretty much all you have to do. But not only that, I do have a giveaway over at my Twitter. This is going to be a Twitter exclusive giveaway, and uh, by the time that this video is up, you go to my Twitter. Twitter account, which is at Starlord YouTube. Just look at my recent tweet, and it should be something about the Grow Outfit giveaway. Make sure to just comment down below uh, on that tweet, and make sure to give me a follow, guys. And uh, yeah, I will be picking the winner within another day or two. It just depends on how my scheduling and everything works. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do wish you all the best on the giveaways. You know, it is a randomized giveaway. I do not pick the winner. It is completely randomized. So, you know, anyone can win this. And uh, yeah, if you are about to comment down below, like, pick me. I'm sorry, dude. I cannot do that. It is completely randomized randomized okay uh, so yeah anyway best of luck to all of you guys have an awesome day enjoy the new update which is presumably coming this weekend and uh, yeah i guess have a, have a have a good have a good day i said that about five times well anyway until next time guys i've been star lord oh see ya